Dear colleagues, this time we will uh, show you some tips related to occlusion, actually occlusion equilibration, and I hope that this will uh, make your professional life easier. Don't forget to put likes, to follow us, to share this content with your colleagues, and let's go. Uh, so to make the long story short from this particular case, because I, this is actually the full mouth rehabilitation with a 28 unit that was planned in a certain way and executed in a so certain way. And here we have uh, the stage of the rehabilitation when the lower arch is already uh, bonded. I mean, ceramic restorations on the lower teeth, 14 pieces ceramic is bonded and we have upper teeth a milled PMMA provisional restorations. We usually use this um, combination to test drive occlusion. And then if we need to make any kind of equilibrations, we can do some adjustments on the upper arch on these uh, provisional restorations. And then we will transfer the data to our dental technician by scanning process and so on. So how do we check the, the occlusion as everybody, as everybody does? So here again, the lower jaw is uh, the final ceramic restorations. We have the upper jaw with uh, temporary restorations. We have still wisdom teeth that we use for our digital protocol for correlation. We will uh, make extraction later on. But anyway, so here we use the uh, uh, typical articulating paper, eight micron, this is my favorite. But you know that, that uh, the articulating paper doesn't work sometimes very clear on the ceramic restoration. Sometimes it shows you the contact point, sometimes it doesn't show you the contact point and so on and so on. So basically, uh, together with uh, the articulating paper, I use uh, very old fashioned stuff that is called Shimstock that will help you to see some kind of uh, uh, tightness of the contact points and some kind of uh, interferences as well. So what I don't like from this picture, actually not from picture but from the situation, I don't like that the anterior teeth have this 8 micron uh, articulating paper sign, which is uh, I prefer to get the stable and tight occlusal contacts on the back teeth, all of them, molars and premolars, and the front teeth, if I place the articulating paper between the front teeth and slide it, it has to slide out uh, lightly. We're speaking about eight microns articulating paper. So here this is the video, uh, how I check the stability of the occlusion and the contacts with the Shimstock. Shimstock is very thin foil, just eight microns. And you can see here on the one central incisor it was sliding, uh, but the another central incisor holded it. And I confirmed that we have the so-called super contact on the front two teeth. We reconfirm it with uh, articulating paper and then I made some equilibration and now you can see the shrimp stock is sliding out very gently. So this is very small but very useful practical tip uh, to have a shrimp stock in your uh, uh, dental clinic that will really show you how the patient holds these eight microns thin foil in uh, back and front areas and if you need to do any kind of adjustments you can do it uh, straight away. My friends, like, please follow, share the contact with your colleagues. Share also tips and tricks related to the contact points equilibration, occlusal contact points. If you have some interesting approaches, I think everybody will be happy to learn from you as well. And I would like to wish you all the best and may the dental force be with you.